Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Double Reward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tries us in different ways. He tries us with hardship, but He also tries us with blessings. When Allah tests you with the hardship, He wants to see that you're being patient and that you're being thankful, and He wants to see how you're dealing with the hardship. But when He tests you with the blessing, He also wants to see that you're thanking Him, and also He wants to see how you're using that blessing. And that's what today's surah, um, Surah Al-Fajr, um, talks about. When a, person, when a person gets a million dollars or he gets some wonderful uh, blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the first thing he should do is thank and remember that the one who gave it to him and the one who brought it to him is Allah. Then after that, he should use that money or use that blessing in good ends. What are some of the good ends? Well, Surah Al-Fajr, which is today's surah, tells us. It tells us that we should give it to the poor, to the indigent, and to the orphans. And it also reminds us that we love wealth, and we're violent in our, our desire for it. And it's reminding us to make us aware that this is the case, so that we can calm down and put things in perspective. The, the point of blessings is for you to use them as a means to please Allah. That's what should happen. But sometimes people forget that and they look at wealth as the goal. Let's listen to today's surah. Now remember what we said is that we've already finished the first 10 verses of this surah last time and we're going to pick up where we left, where we left off on the 10th verse. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem وَفِرْعَوْنَ ذِي الْأَوْتَادِ الَّذِينَ طَغَوْا فِي الْبِلَادِ فَأَكْثَرُوا فِيهَا الْفَسَادِ فَصَبَّ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّكَ سَوْطَ عَذَابٍ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَبِالْمِرْصَادِ فَأَمَّا الْإِنسَانُ إِذَا مَا بِتَلَاهُ رَبُّهُ فَأَكْرَمَهُ وَنَعَّمَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَكْرَمًا وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَا بِتَلَاهُ فَقَدَرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَهَانًا كَلَّا بَلْ لَا تُكْرِمُونَ الْيَتِيمَ وَلَا تَحَاضُّونَ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ وَتَأْكُلُونَ التُّرَاثَ أَكْلًا لَمَّا وَتُحِبُّونَ الْمَالَ حُبًّا جَمَّا I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. And with Pharaoh who had pegs, who did transgress beyond bounds in the lands, and made therein much mischief. So your Lord poured on them different kinds of severe torment. Verily, your Lord is ever watchful over them. As for man, when his Lord tries him by giving him honor, and gifts. Then he says, My Lord has honored me. But when he tries him by straightening his means of life, he says, My Lord has humiliated me. Nay, but you treat not the orphans with kindness and generosity, and urge not on the feeding of the indigent, and you devour inheritance with all greed, and you love wealth with much love. You see how the surah um, directs us and shows us the, the ill acts that human beings do in not helping the, fo the poor, in not helping the indigent. And it also directs our attention to something important here, important, which is the wealth that is being inherited and given off after the death of someone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed a certain way for this to be divided and spread out. And it is not lawful and not permissible for a person to unrightfully Take that which is not his. Let's practice the surah together, inshallah. Are you ready here? Yes. Wafir'awna dil awtad. 
وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين طغوا في البلاد الذين طغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه فقدر عليه رزقه فيقول ربي أهانا فقدر عليه رزقه فيقول ربي أهانا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحابون على طعام المسكين ولا تحابون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما وتحبون المال حبا جما إن شاء الله another time وفرعون ذي الأوتاد وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين طغوا في البلاد الذين طغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه وأما إذا ما 
ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه رزقه فيقول ربي اهانا رزقه فيقول ربي اهانا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحاضون على طعام المسكين ولا تحاضون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما وتحبون المال حبا جما Again from the beginning وفرعون ذي الأوتاد وفرعون ذي الأوتاد الذين طغوا في البلاد الذين طغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فأكثروا فيها الفساد فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب فصب عليهم ربك سوط عذاب إن ربك لبالمرصاد إن ربك لبالمرصاد فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأما الإنسان إذا ما ابتلاه ربه فأكرمه ونعمه فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما فأكرمه ونعمه فيقول ربي أكرما وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه وأما إذا ما ابتلاه فقدر عليه رزقه رزقه فيقول ربي أهانا رزقه فيقول ربي أهانا كلا كلا بل لا تكرمون اليتيم بل لا تكرمون اليتيم ولا تحاضون على طعام المسكين ولا تحاضون على طعام المسكين وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتأكلون التراث أكلا لما وتحبون المال حبا جما وتحبون المال حبا جما ما شاء الله اوكي اخي فردوس could you read for us just two or three verses please ان شاء الله اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وفرعون ذي الاوتاد الذين طغوا في البلاد فأكثروا فيها الفساد ما شاء الله that's very good uh, inshallah that's all we have enough time for inshallah we're going to go to a break and we come back inshallah we're going to learn أحكام التجويد السلام عليكم Ark of Noah. We're going to be mentioning uh, the significance of uh, the Ark of Noah. Knowledge is the essence of everything. Once you get the knowledge, then it generates the desire and the motivation, and then it brings about the action. And we're going to be discussing the state of the Ummah uh, and the division which uh, unfortunately has, uh, has appeared in it. 
and the methodology of trying to arrive at the right path. Your system of knowledge or your system of motivation are hit by any of these threats, you will definitely go astray and you will be suffering from a disease in the heart. We're also going to be discussing what Allah wants from us. How can we make that? Allah gave us the revelation. So Allah SWT is addressing first and foremost the companions. If they believe in what you have believed in, then they are guided. So the real guidance is what the Prophet ﷺ and the companions were upon. Join Sheikh Mutasim in the program Ark of Noah and discover the answers to these questions. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Inshallah we're talking about uh, when it's permissible to stop and when it's not permissible to stop. And we already looked at the places where it was preferable either to stop or not to stop. But now we're going to look at a situation in which it's much stronger, and that is al-waqf al-lazim. And as you're going to see, if you don't stop, uh, when you see that mark that we're going to show you, it will corrupt the meaning somewhat. But before we do that, let's look at al-waqf al-ja'is. This is a nice, easy uh, kind of uh, um, s symbol because what it means is that it's totally up to you. If you want to stop, you can, but if you don't, you don't have to. The symbol that you're going to see is a jim. When you see this, that means that at that point, you can stop or you can keep going, and it's totally up to you. So if you want to stop to take your breath, you can. If you want to stop to accentuate a certain meaning, you can, etc. Let's look at another example. Let's look at an example. I want you to look at the word Allah. If you notice, on top of the ha, there is that jim. What that means is that I can stop there if I want, or I don't have to. Let's read this by. Let, let's read this, inshallah, and stop, and listen to how it sounds. Or, I could read it like this. Uh, Ahmed, can you read it for us uh, and stop? إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ يَعْلُمُ الْجَهْرَ وَمَا يَخْفَى Good, but it's إِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ الْجَهْرَ إِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ 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 الْجَهْرَ وَمَا يَخْفَى يَعْلَمُ الْجَهْرَ وَمَا يَخْفَى Good, that's with stopping. Now could you read it continuously? إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ إِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ الْجَهْرَ وَمَا يَخْفَى Okay, very good, mashaAllah. Let's look at another example. Now look at the word ma'roof, uh, which is about the third word that you see. Look at the fa. On top of that letter, you see that jim again. Again, that means that it's permissible to stop or to keep going. This time we're going to read it by by uh, continuously first. Now we can I'll do it by stopping. فَإِذَا عَزَمَ الْأَمْرُ فَلَوْ صَدَقُوا اللَّهَ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ أخي فيروز, could you uh, do that for us too? Continuously? Yes. طَاعَةٌ وَقَوْلٌ مَعْرُوفٌ فَإِذَا عَزَمَ الْأَمْرُ فَلَوْ صَدَقُوا اللَّهَ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ Okay, now can you pause? طَاعَةٌ وَقَوْلٌ مَعْرُوفٌ فَإِذَا عَزَمَ الْأَمْرُ فَلَوْ صَدَقُوا اللَّهَ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ Okay, now from a, uh, you know, a vocal, uh, a, a, from a sound point of view, when you stop, you kind of emphasize those first words. Listen to it. 
طاعة وقول معروف فإذا عزم الأمر فلو صدق الله لكان خيرا لهم You see how that pause kind of um, brings out the meaning of the first, four wor- uh, the first uh, three words? It kind of accentuates it. And also, it gives you a chance to stop and ponder about the next words that are coming. Okay, let's look at another example. I want you to look at the word masakinuhum. On top of the meme, you're going to see that mark again, that jim. And as we said, it means, it, it means that al-waqf jaiz. You can stop here or you can continue. Okay, now we're going to read it by stopping there first. And try to listen and hear the effect of that pause. تُدَمِّرُ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ بِأَمْرِ رَبِّهَا فَأَصْبَحُوا لَا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَاكِنُهُمْ كَذَلِكَ نَجَزِ الْقَوْمَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ Now listen to it continuously. تُدَمِّرُ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ بِأَمْرِ رَبِّهَا فَأَصْبَحُوا لَا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَاكِنُهُمْ كَذَلِكَ نَجَزِ الْقَوْمَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ أخي فيروس could you read that for us? تُدَمِّرُ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ بِأَمْرِ رَبِّهَا فَأَصْبَحُوا لَا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَاكِنُهُمْ كَذَلِكَ نَجِزِ الْقَوْمَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ And then again, and without the pause. تُدَمِّرُ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ بِأَمْرِ رَبِّهَا فَأَصْبَحُوا لَا, فأصبحوا لا يُرَى إِلَّا مَسَاكِنُهُمْ كَذَلِكَ نَجِزِ الْقَوْمَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ Very good. MashaAllah. Now we're going to move on to something else which is called al-waqf al-lazim. Here, it is you must stop. And we're going to explain why. Because if you don't stop, you'll change the meaning. Sometimes something more serious than that will happen. The meaning will be corrupted. Uh, let's uh, listen to this with the correct uh, reading. إِنَّمَا يَسْتَجِيبُ الَّذِينَ يَسْمَعُونَ وَالْمَوْتَ يَبْعَثُهُمُ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ إِلَيْهِ يُرْجَعُونَ In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to say two different things. The first thing that He is conveying to us is that those who hear with their hearts, they are the ones that respond to the message of Islam, the message of the Prophet, the message of Allah. As for the dead, which is the second thing that, he's, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about, Allah resurrects them. But if we don't stop there at that certain point, what's going to happen is that the two meanings are going to become confused. And the sentence might be interpreted as that even the dead respond to the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is not intended at all in this particular situation. So you see why it's important to pay attention to those marks, that little meme that you see on top of the noon. Okay. Um, Akhi Taha, yes. could you read that for us, please? Yes. إنما يستجيب الذين يسمعون والموتى يبعثهم الله ثم إليه يرجعون. Okay. Now the totally incorrect way to read this would be like this. إنما يستجيب الذين يسمعون والموتى يبعثهم الله ثم إليه يرجعون. Without a stop. Now let's look at another example. Notice the word methala. On top of the word methala, uh, at the end, you see that little meme. It looks kind of like the meme that we covered when we did Hukm al-Iqlab. But the difference is that the meme in Hukm al-Iqlab has a little tail hanging down. Um, this one doesn't have that. So the correct way to read this would be وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَيَقُولُونَ مَاذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَثَلًا يُضِلُّ بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَيَهْدِي بِهِ كَثِيرًا أخي فيروس, can you read that for us? 
وأما الذين كفروا فيقولون ماذا أراد الله بهذا مثلا يضل به كثيرا ويهدي به كثيرا Okay, very good. And now the reason that is there is that um, before that stop mark, the words of the disbelievers are being quoted. And then after it, uh, uh, are the word, are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking. So if you don't stop there, it'll sound as though the disbelievers are saying this. And that's why that, that pause is there. Um, Akhi Taha, could you read that for us? Yes. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَيَقُولُونَ مَاذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَثَلًا يُضِلُّ بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَيَهْدِي بِهِ كَثِيرًا Okay, mashallah. Excellent, Akhi Taha. Mashallah. Very beautiful. Okay, let's look at another example. And uh, uh, notice, that the, notice the word عَنْهُمْ On top of it, you see that little meme. Uh, that mean means that you have to pause and stop here. And I think if you pause, uh, if you're a little patient, and you know, give that pause a few moments, I feel like you'll note it, you'll, it'll, it'll improve your recitation, it'll, it'll make the uh, recitation sound more profound. Listen to this. فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ يَوْمَ يَدْعُ الدَّاعِ إِلَى شَيْءٍ نُكُرْ Okay? Repeat after me. فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ يَوْمَ يَدْعُ الدَّاعِ إِلَى شَيْءٍ نُكُرْ يَوْمَ يَدْعُ الدَّاعِ إِلَى شَيْءٍ نُكُرْ Okay, good. أخي فيروس, could you read uh, that for us? And then when you pause, be a little patient and see how you, how you feel after that. فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ يَوْمَ يَدْعُ الدَّاعِ إِلَىٰ شَيْءٍ نُكُرْ Okay, what does that pause make you feel? It gives me more time uh, to recite the next ayah. I can take a breath and then continue reading the next ayah. Okay. You know, which I makes my recitation more better. Okay, yeah, I feel it gives like a sense of closure and also a uh, feeling that the neck, what's coming up is, you know, a different topic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Taha, could you read that for us too? فَتَوَلَّا عَنْهُمْ يَوْمَ يَدْعُ الدَّاعِ إِلَىٰ شَيْءٍ نُكُرْ Okay, that was very good. That pause was very good. One more time. فَتَوَلَّا عَنْهُمْ يَوْمَ يَدْعُ الدَّاعِ إِلَىٰ شَيْءٍ نُكُرْ Okay, good, mashallah. It's, it's, it's فَتَوَلَّا. Say فَتَوَلَّا. Okay, there isn't really an alif there, but that pause was very good, mashallah. Okay, let's stop now and kind of uh, recap. Um, Usama, I want to ask you, the jeem that you see, what does that mean? It means that you could do whatever you want. Okay, which you is? Could stop or go on. Okay, very good, mashallah. Um, Ahmed, now the, that meme, mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean? I think it means that it's absolutely mandatory to stop. Okay. That it's yes, that yeah. it's it's very strongly strongly recommended because that it'll you stop. distort the eye's meaning and exactly. mess it up and stuff. Okay. So. Yeah, it, it's sometimes it has to do with grammatical reasons or or you know, there are reasons for that usually mm -hmm. or always actually. So uh, you have to pay attention to that, inshallah. Okay, inshallah, that basically covers um, what we're going to talk about in terms of uh, waqf and uh, and al-ibtida. And, uh, you know, the, the examples of the jim uh, on top of the letter are frequent in the Qur'an. If you flip through the Qur'an, you'll find it in many places. The waqf al-lazim is a little bit uh, less frequent. But, uh, inshallah, if you read often, you'll come across it. Okay, inshallah, remember to practice, and we hope to see you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.